Greetings, everybody. I am in Colombia right now in uh, Cartagena, I want to say. Probably saying it wrong. And uh, what I have right here are the Corozo fruit, which is something that I've seen before last time I went to Colombia. However, I bought some not knowing what it was, and I bit into it and um, realized pretty quickly that it's something that you normally need to prepare. These are not uh, eaten raw. I think I don't think they're poisonous, but they're not very good raw. In order to prepare these, you have to boil them and add a lot of water and sugar, and then you can make... Wait. There you go. You can make a juice. I bought these at the main market here, and that place was incredible. I, I haven't been to a big market in a while because of the pandemic, and going to this market felt like like there's an extra organ inside my chest that just like took a big deep breath of air like a big labyrinth of like all sorts of fun things everywhere uh, unfortunately i've been doing this for so long that uh, most of the stuff i've had already but uh it was really cool to see but i did find a couple of things that i haven't had and first i'm gonna try this just on its own oh It is very, very sour. That is like a 10. The skin on the outside is very thick, and there is a large seed on the inside as well. That skin is very tough, so it's, it's not really something that you can eat. But there is a little bit of pulp in there. Hmm. It's interesting. It's like a berry flavor like a strong maybe like cranberry here's the seed it is uh, very very large for the size of the fruit so when you bite into that you're mostly getting a seed it's very hard so no getting through there and the pulp is uh, very tightly adhered to the seed so when you try to get the pulp off it's kind of difficult it's like a bunch of little strings on there the crozo is a palm fruit and um, it's interesting because the most, one of the most popular palm fruits out there is the acai. And when you think of the acai, at least most people when they think of the acai, they imagine like a berry sort of flavor. I think they're imagining this. <laughs> they're imagining something that tastes like cranberry or blueberry or something like that, maybe like raspberry. But the acai actually just tastes like a stick, like a, maybe a little bit with maple syrup on top, like a maple syrup stick. Next, the juice. And what's funny about this juice is that the market I went to, as big as it was, it was like a big labyrinth, full of shops, full of restaurants, full of people selling juice. Nobody had this. I asked like five people and everyone thought I was crazy. So uh, I think this is more of a specialty sort of thing. People do sell the fruit, people do use it, but it's uh, not something that was available there. However, I did find it at a very, very uh, high-end touristy cafe in the old city. And it had violinists inside, so that is why I'm outside right now and not in there, because um, this is how loud it was. Yeah, so as annoying as it is for me to be doing a review outside with the noise of cars going by, inside that pastry shop would be a lot worse. Anyway, let's see what the Crozo juice is like. It's good. It's, again, a lot like cranberry juice. There's something else to it. A mellow flavor like, um, like a raisin or a prune. It actually reminds me of the flavor of a dried cranberry, but it's not dry, if that makes any sense. I think that this has been sweetened just with regular white sugar, but because of the flavor of the fruit, it tastes almost like raw sugar or um, like a little molassesy, like brown sugar. That's actually pretty good. So I think that's about it. Uh, really cool to get a chance to try this. I mean, it's something that I found when I was in Colombia years ago, and it's always kind of bugged me that I didn't get a chance to try it properly. So here we go. Scratch that off the list. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. 
like to give a big shout out to Lofty Rex and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon.com is basically how I can afford to go on all the adventures I do on this channel. So if you enjoy my series and you want to help support me, check out the link in the description below. If you don't want to go on Patreon, I also have t-shirts for sale like this one here, the Durian Anatomy shirt. That is available on my website, which I also put in the description below. Thanks so much, everybody. See you next time.